And we have to emphasize the fact that law enforcement is not the enemy, they're an ally. That they're here to help, they're here to protect and serve. Patterson Mayor Andre Sayed joining the mayors of Trenton and East Orange for this roundtable discussion focusing on how they can make their city safer. Especially during the pandemic with uh, COVID, uh, cities large and small, there's been an uptick in violent crimes. It's really important that the police go out in the neighborhoods and not only to de-escalate the problems that are right out in the streets, but that the community gets to know the police. Former NYPD Police Commissioner Bill Bratton leading the discussion on the need for community policing. Bratton spoke about how he helped reduce crime in New York as well as Los Angeles when he served as chief of police there, even defending the controversial stop and frisk program aimed at preventing serious crimes from ever happening. Police are the essential catalyst to either do great harm or to do great good. And uh, so the challenge is to do great good. But some community advocates believe community policing can do more harm than good. We believe the best way to achieve public safety is to simply invest in communities. Brooke Lewis works as an associate counsel at the New Jersey Institute for Social Justice. The organization recently released a new report, Refunding Communities, a Pathway Forward to Real Public Safety, outlining the need to pour more resources in the community instead of using police as the first option. What we see is that police are called to respond to situations that could be better handled by other professionals or even community members. And moreover, some situations where police are called could have been prevented if we made proper investments in community resources. We see that about nationally, we spend around $115 billion on policing, and this is often at the expense of important community resources. And this is true despite the fact that we know that things like education, access to housing, restorative justice are all really important to keeping communities safe. We also disturbingly see that people with untreated severe mental illness are 16 times more likely to be killed during a police interaction. And then some people just simply aren't comfortable calling the police when they need help. There's also a concern that community policing unfairly targets communities of color. In New Jersey, we know that uh, Black people are three times more likely to face police force. And we've also seen systemic divestment from black and brown communities as well, which is why in particular, when we talk about refunding communities, we wanna make sure that those communities in particular, those who are most impacted, uh, get enough funding to keep themselves safe. But East Orange Mayor Ted Green doesn't believe community policing is the issue. He says the key is actually getting to know and understand its residents. Our crime has been the lowest since 1965 in the city of East Orange. That is, that is unheard of. But that is with good policing, that is with our community being involved, that is with our, um, our faith-based organizations being involved. Also, we are including our school district, so we're working together. Leaders at the roundtable say they recognize there will always be crime, but their goal is to build trust with members of the community so they can find the best ways to keep them safe. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper.